coverage you can count on continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Everett Lau. Well, the colors of the leaves are really becoming eye-catching as fall continues to settle in. Take a look at this pretty view. Uh, Assistant News Director Annie Johnston shot this video for us this morning in Terre Haute. Colors not quite as popping part times today because of all the cloud cover, but when you saw the sun, that really makes those colors vibrant out there. So hopefully you can get a chance to enjoy some of these fall colors over the next few days because we are expecting sunnier conditions over the weekend. But as for right now, still dealing with a lot of cloud cover across the Wabash Valley as a cold front's making its way across the region. Now earlier it did bring a few scattered showers to the area. Very light precipitation. If you saw any, we didn't officially measure any here at the TV station. And as you can see, we're drying back out. So our chance for rain pretty much gone as we head into the weekend. So that weekend forecast, we are going to clear the sky out overnight. So sunshine expected both days, but on the back side of the front, it is going to be much cooler. So 64 for the high tomorrow and 65 on Sunday. While it is cooler than it has been, that's pretty typical for this time of year. So pretty festive for the last weekend in October. The Pumpkin Festival going on in Odin, uh, Oblong Fall Follies, ISU Homecoming events. So looks like we have picture perfect weather out there. Or if you just want to take a drive and enjoy some of the fall colors. So future cast as we go through the rest of the evening, you can see the cloud cover still with us. But over time, that's going to be dropping down to the southeast. So we should see a lot of sunshine as we start our day tomorrow. Once the sky clears, we're expecting our temperatures to drop down into the 40s. So still fairly chilly start to our day tomorrow, but sunshine expected as we get into the afternoon. We'll advance this forward Saturday night. Some clouds may come in, but those look clear out as we get into Sunday, so we should have another day with plenty of sunshine as we finish up the weekend, and we'll see our temperatures again staying pretty typical for this time of year in the mid-60s. So if you're going to any of the homecoming activities tomorrow in Terre Haute, the parade starting at 9 o'clock, temperatures supposed to be around 44, so probably need some jackets if you're going to be out there. 55 for tailgating activities, and then when the football game kicks off, expecting temperatures to be in the lower 60s with a light breeze out of the northeast at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. So there have certainly been much colder mornings for that homecoming parade. Looking at the temperature trend over the next five days, we're not going to stay this way. Average is 64, so I mentioned we're right near that for the weekend, but then on Monday we're back into the lower 70s. Tuesday we're going to be challenging some record highs. We're expecting temperatures to climb back into the lower 80s. It's going to be very breezy, so we already have enhanced uh, fire danger in areas. Next week it's going to be uh, even worse because it's going to be breezy, warmer, and still staying dry. Temperature-wise right now, most places still in the lower 70s at 71 in Mattoon and Linton, 73 in Terre Haute, and in Olney, and it's currently 68 in Mattoon. So tonight we'll drop down to 40 as the sky gradually clears with that chilly breeze out of the north at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Then we get into the day tomorrow, lots of sunshine, temperatures in the mid-60s with a cool breeze out of the north-northeast. Then tomorrow night, a little more of a chilly night. We'll drop down into the mid-30s under a partly cloudy sky. As we look at the seven-day forecast, again, the sunshine going to stay with us into next week as those temperatures start to climb back up. Our record high on Tuesday is 81, so if we make it there, that would at least tie it. But then as we get into Halloween, we do have a chance of rain in the forecast right now. Obviously, still several days away, so we'll get a better timing on that as we get closer. But that'll be along another front that drops us into the 60s by the end of next week.